Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Uh, we need to locate the statue of Columbia, which sounds easy, but uh, really, no clue what I'm looking for. Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other Oh, nations. are these all? And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders. And oh, interesting. Father Comstock. And, and recommit, recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father Comstock. So, so Father Comstock is like the, the main Amen. dude, and then you've got like these multiple other uh, fathers, Jefferson, Washington, Franklin, all based on what I can assume is our U.S. presidents. Our fills but. our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. Well, you guys really like this guy. That's fair. What is Columbia if not another arc for another time? He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and rebel doubt, against ignorance so and tyranny. Hold fast Share with all me invaders. your wisdom and by the sword. Oh, look at this. And the scroll <laughs> and the key. Crazy. Amen. A hummingbird. You can even see its wings like fluttering if you look close enough. That's pretty intense. Oh, I'm gonna take all your money from your pond. And I'm probably going straight to whatever your version of hell is. No chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work, you discern the transmundane. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find. So that's- that's all we know, is we gotta find this girl, we don't have any details. Nobody's helping us. I've got these initials on my hand here that I don't understand. Okay. Ho <laughs> ho What? New Eden Square, okay. There's just all these people, like, I kind of want to check all this stuff out, but... I've never had an oyster. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you terrible. He's trying to hit her up. Morning. Good to see you. I guess everything's free here. Or maybe I paid for it. I don't know what happened there. This is craziness. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. So I wonder if everybody here believes, like, you know, totally within this Father Comstock. All of Columbia celebrates. What are we celebrating? What is going on today? Oh, that statue... I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute... divinity. <laughs> I think that's like the only thing that it does. Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Salt stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Solid stalls. Okay, I need to find this landmark, but. There's a giant golden bird up there. The tower protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Uh, it's Latin. It means Latin. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, what? Nurse to the victory and wounded knee, the angel of Columbia wow. did present herself to Father Comstock and show him a vision of the future. And so our prophet led the people away from the Sodom below, up, up into the city, where they created an even more perfect union. But it was the miracle child. Oh. 
Let me guess. Okay, so that's probably Elizabeth. All clear. Good luck at the raffle, folks. Elizabeth is probably the child. I just want to go back and check out the uh, the suits and cloaks place over here that I didn't go into. I don't know if you can enter all these shops or certain ones or what, but. Well, hello. Hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park <laughs> is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man. Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. <laughs> mm -hmm. This guy could give a shit there? what he's saying. That's yes, hilarious. Sir. All right, let's listen to this voxophone here. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? I'm loving these audio diaries already. These are going to be fantastic. Okay, what is this thing? A kinetoscope. In the midst of the darkest storm. I like that there's subtitles for the words. <laughs> okay, well, cool story. Yeah. So every time you, you listen to one of these uh, audio diaries or these uh, these audio boxes and view one of these little kaleidoscope things you get an achievement or you get a uh, progress towards getting an achievement I guess I imagine those are the things that you can eventually start riding or gliding on or I'm not exactly sure how it works you use like a hook or something Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. Oh, look at this. These, like, separate buildings, like, dock. It's... that's pretty cool. Honor system, eh? Short, a beautiful day for the festivities <laughs> I'll show you Columbia. honor system. And now... Thanks. Back to the music. I'm feeling full of honor right now, actually. Oh, I can turn it on and off? Okay. It's actually strangely quiet when you don't hear any background music. Who is this girl? The false shepherd seeks to lead our lamb astray. That's probably me, the false shepherd. I guess we'll find out.
So basically just instilling fear into everybody that anybody can be the false prophet. All right, let's check out this place here that just docked. That's unbelievable how they do that. Oh, cool. It's like a quartet. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I don't know if I have a choice in any of that. Like, can I actually go back to her at some point? I don't know. I guess it doesn't want me walking right on their flowers. Fair enough. Okay, we got another box of phone to listen to. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. So, I don't know if they're gonna say it or not. I don't know if they'll say exactly what religion this is. Um, but, like, they talk about God, and they talk about... It's basically, it's Christianity. Like, it's <laughs> pretty blatant. I don't know if it's gonna be a little bit different. Now, a lot of people are going to laugh at that and say that it says God only knows Columbia's gayest quartet. But uh, back in the day, when you say, you know, you're so gay or whatever, the uh, what that actually means is that, like, you're happy and you're carefree and you're just... It used to be a term for just being happy. <laughs> and then uh, society totally changed that. And actually, a funny story is... Uh, well, it's not funny, but... My my mother's uh, given name when she was born was actually gay, and uh, she actually had it legally changed at some point because uh, just society changed and it didn't used to be an issue. It was never an issue when she was younger, but as she got older, it started to kind of be this weird like not taboo, but it was just easier to not go by that. So she changed it to uh, her middle name. She basically swapped it um, legally. Whoa. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. What? Tess. <laughs> Tess. Go to the monument, find the girl. Okay, yeah, that seems easy enough. Do not pick number 77. Let's see if we can see anything through here, shall we? I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't see anybody in there. You guys, look at you making out back here behind the stairs. Just like when you were young. My good day to you, sir. Hello. That's it? You got nothing else for me? Marlowe's patented vigors. Oh, yeah, so in Bioshock Infinite, instead of um, the things that you stab, the plasmids that you stab into yourself, you actually have these things called vigors. I'm not sure how they work exactly, but uh, one of these must be murder of crows, proven to turn against hooligans. I imagine we're going to run into some hooligans at some point. I agree. Bucking Bronco, Should we go in? Shock Jockey, Devil's Kiss, Irresistible Charm, Possession. That's awesome. Kind of getting a little preview of uh, some possible vigors there. One swing 
and feats of wonderment are at the tip oh, of Oh, he must be finger. talking above me. Okay, I'll go check him out in a sec. You wanna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again. <laughs> Roadblock. Better find another way around. Okay, okay. Hello there, friend. Hello. Oh, okay then. Thanks for coming out. I don't know what he sees in there. Money. Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vicar? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. Wall, how would you hook me up with one then, brother? Give me a little tester. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If Wall. I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? I kind of would, yes. <laughs> well, friends, I am here today. Minor victory. Cigarettes. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. That's a cigarette ad for kids. That's, uh, that's great. That is really great. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fingers. Like, Young look sir, at this stuff. Young roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Fine, young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Uh, who am I supposed to hit? <laughs> Oh, okay. I just have to spot them. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. <laughs> so Bucking Bronco basically we have a winner. Lifts them out of whatever they're behind. Bronco is your answer. Okay, cool. So we can basically this is a really cool idea. Trying all these different figures and weapons and stuff. I'll try. Damn right, I'll try. What am I shooting at? Oh. Hello. Oh, this fella knows his stuff. I've been practicing my off downtime. Oh, this fella knows his stuff. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Any box left when you're done. More for the record. Any box left when you're done. I hope not. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't even get it them all. That's too bad. I kind of want the purse. I'll try it one more time. I thought I did that pretty good, but uh, we'll do it one more time. 
I guess I'll try to shoot him like as soon as I see him. play this all day. That's awesome. I could go for the cigarettes, but no, we're good. What else we got here? And they keep talking about like the uh, Vox Populi, which is, I remember that from the pre-order little mini game that we had to play. You didn't have to play, but you got that when you pre-ordered. There was like this web-based game. Easter. Peyton Lane Easter Suns Automated Stallions. That's pretty cool. But I'm sure that they'll go more into detail on who the Vox Populi are and all that kind of stuff. That's right. What do I win if I hit this thing? Okay, I'm not sure. But I'm thinking maybe if I get some type of vigor where I get really strong, then I come and use that, then I'll probably win something. Records your own boxophone. Vending machine in Columbia sells many types of supplies. Did I see a vending machine somewhere? Say something, Sonny. What's a boxophone? What's a boxophone? <laughs> exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> Hot dogs, Hot dogs, ass. Alexander Hot Dogs. Have you sampled any of the new videos here today? I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with them. It's safer that way. So I wonder if people just... A life with vigor is a life that's bigger. I wonder if people dabble in the vigor as like a drug almost. <laughs> 